हेलो नमस्ते सत्यकाल गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू द एस एस चंडोक टॉक शो वी आर हेयर वंस अगेन विद एन इंटरेस्टिंग एपिसोड ऑफ द शो वील इंट्रोड्यूस यू टू द वेरी फर्स्ट एमिनेंट गेस्ट विदाउट टेकिंग एनी टाइम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग गेस्ट आभा जाधव मैम शी इज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ राहुल इंटरनेशनल स्कूल पुणे ऑल दो वेन वेल आई टॉक अबाउट हर रज्यूमे ओ इट वी लिटिल डिफरेंट Recently, she, ma'am, was crowned as Mrs. India Icon 2021, Queen Panache, on a doctorate in education administration by Southwestern American University, and awarded Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam International Award of Excellence, Mahatma Gandhi Darshan Puraskar 2021, Acharya Chanakya Shiksha Vid Samman 2021, two OMG World Records holder, Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam International Award of Excellence awardee. महात्मा गांधी दर्शन पुरस्कार अवार्डी आचार्य चाणक्य शिक्षा वेद सम्मान 2021 अवार्डी एक भारत श्रेष्ठ भारत शिक्षा पदम सम्मान अवार्ड द इंटरनेशनल वुमन अचीवर अवार्ड द इन्फ्लुएंशियल वुमन अचीवर ऑफ इंडिया बेस्ट प्रोफेशनल ऑफ इंडिया 2021 बेस्ट न्यू यूट्यूबर 2020 रिकॉग्नाइज बाय लिंक्डइन द लिंक्डइन टॉप पर्सन ऑफ द ईयर 2020 द एपीजे अब्दुल कलाम शिक्षा सम्मान रिसीवर एंड ऑथर ऑफ द बुक Okay, book is also not left now. An author of the book "Rise and Shine: Ten Keys for Speculator Success," certified internal auditor for School Management System (ISO) standard uh, 2100-2018. Dr. Abha Jadhav is an experienced, passionate, and affectionate educator for two decades. She is currently the principal of Rahul International School, Vadegao, uh, Sheri, Sheri Branch, Pune, Maharashtra. Ma'am. she is the only she has only been able to nurture her students academically but her energy enthusiasm and vice consciousness has helped her in relates the values necessary life skills in her students too she has received the star employee of the year award and dronacharya award and has been nominated for the best principal award for two consecutive years on national level ma'am has also got her name registered for omg book of national records for 100% attendance for consecutive 3 years since 2nd april 2018 till 12th june 2021 on the post of school school principal at apex international school surat she is a certified trainer and a parenting coach and innovator of 3d parenting concept who has been counseling parents for over a decade her simple yet effective parenting tips with an innovating designing concept of 3d approach have not only been well received by the parents but have also been made parenting effective and graceful she has been speaker at ted circles indo finnish edu conferences inspire to aspire conferences and many more she has worked as highly successful insu- uh, successful insurance agent and has won all awards that were on the shelf to achieve she was among the top 5 finalists of mrs gujarat beauty pageant 2007 She is currently one of the finalists of Mrs. India Icon Queen Panache Beauty Pageant 2021. She is a popular radio and television host, and also a YouTuber. Where her most admired show is Spotlight with Ava. She is the founder of AJ School of Digital Learning, where she trains people on uh, YouTubers, Canva, video editing, etc. A list of students includes students across the globe. She is author to. She has co-authored "Rise and Shine: Ten Keys to Speculator Success" and authored "My Letter to Parents," releasing on 20th December. She has a unique ability to spread smile and transfer her positivity to charge the person she connects with. And she has received so many more awards. I think she might be having one flat for that because usually the principals they have one or two rooms with awards. Ma'am has, ma'am, have you left anything? Please leave something for others also. Because you had been in passion, I mean, as in uh, Mrs. Uh, you know whatever awards you have received, you are in radio also, you are on YouTube also, you are in school also, you are in parenting also, ma'am. Do you work twenty four into seven? And what is your age? Although I should not ask this from a female, I should not ask this, but this is to be done in around forty fifty years of career. Please let us know about your journey as an educationist, not educationist only. whatever you are doing apart from education uh first of all i would like to start this uh, meet 
uh, with our uh, uh, Saraswati Vandana as today is uh, Basant Panchmi. So I hope you don't mind if I just take a one sure, minute to sure, sure. recite that Saraswati Vandana. Ya kunde du tushar har dhavala Ya shubrava stambrita Ya veena vardand mandit kara Ya shwet padmasana Ya brahma chut shankara prabhuti bhi Devai Sada Vandita Sama Patu Saraswati Bhagavati Nishesh Jarya Paha Nishesh Jarya Paha So good evening all the august gathering over here. I'm really honored to be a part of this panel discussion on the SS Chandra Talk Show. So thank you very much for uh, inviting me over here on this platform. Uh, yes, uh, uh, if you are talking about my journey, it has been a kind of roller coaster, always uh, struggling and then winning over the challenges made me tough and passionate about what I did because I did it from my heart. I did it with my hard work and I never took shortcuts to achieve my success. So yes, that's why uh, right from very beginning, I was passionate about children and later on I developed a passion for teaching. But initially I was at today also, I'm very much passionate about children. So any age of children, they are with me, then I'm theirs. That's it. So uh, that is what made me uh, do my work with sincerity, with all my efforts to connect with them from their heart and to solve their problems, uh, not only academically, but also uh, I was like able to touch their psychological problems and many other more. So this is how it all started. Now it's 20 years in education field. And uh, now I have, uh, you know, uh, took the position a little up. Uh, and now I'm a school leader, then a teacher. So, but still I'm teaching children because uh, I can't leave that because that's my passion. I still want to connect, uh, get, uh, keep connected with children. So lockdown period actually shown us uh, a lot of uh, different time period where we were forced to develop many other, uh, you know, side talents and all. So that was a time actually when again I faced a tough time, a challenging time when we were suffering our education field, uh, it, got, uh, it got a big blow all over. We know that how our salaries got affected and how the education has got affected. So at one period of time, it's okay that we were supporting our staff, we were supporting our management, we were teaching, we were going online, we were going to offices because for principals, our schools were always on. So uh, yes, I did that job also uh, with my uh, whole passion. And at the same time, when I found that, okay, now is high time, I cannot much more uh, anymore, I can, uh, you know, bear that uh, crisis. So I took a bold step to relocate, uh, you know, myself with a new job at Rahul International School, Vatkao Sheri Branch, Pune. So now, uh, last uh, eight months, I'm in Pune. And uh, now I am here with uh, my foundation uh, year uh, in the foundation year of the school again as a founder principal so along with this in lockdown period i developed many more uh, my uh, hidden talents and i became an author i became trainer i became speaker i became youtuber and uh, of course i became tedx speaker i became ted circle speaker so all these kind of whichever titles you are you have read just now, they have all been gained in the uh, time uh, period of last two years. So I must say that this lockdown, though it has come up with the challenges uh, on the one side, but the other side, it has been a trans transformational year for me. That's great, ma'am. That's great, ma'am. And what about, I mean, uh, you had been, you know, uh, participating in these awards how did it came? You started before marriage or after marriage? 
<laughs> all these awards are also uh, the efforts of last few years uh, and prior to that when i uh, till i was uh, working as a teacher i only focused on my teaching and yes to become best teacher among my students employee of the year was given by the management by seeing my performance and i did not uh, you know uh, run for it <laughs> ma'am i'm talking about mrs I- india icon 2021 queen panake and whatever you have received okay, about this okay yeah. okay so queen uh, mrs india icon 2021 queen panash uh, was a beauty pageant uh, held in december 2021 Uh, prior to that i interviewed the ceo of queen, uh, ceo of panash international company ms Doc- uh, dr shraddha kulkarni uh, on my talk show spotlight with abha so uh, it was like uh, in i think september or uh, september i interviewed her and in october end this uh, she uh, you know introduced this uh, beauty pageant to all of us and she just passed on uh, me uh, the creative of that pageant and i said can i participate because it's a childhood dream when i was small child uh, and i used to see ashwarya roy and sushmita sen who were winning those crowns i was like you know having the dream that once upon a time when i grew up you now i have a dream to walk like them and to walk on the ramp and doing this this, this and the winning that crown so uh, again i wanted to try because in 2007 i tried once for mrs gujarat but uh, could not uh, win it so this time i just took the chance that at the age of 50 uh, let me take a chance whether i still am competent to participate in such pageants and the competition was really tough i was actually uh, nervous but thank god all the positive best wishes from my well wishers and my friends and family is supported a lot and motivated a lot me to win this pageant that's great ma'am that's great ma'am that is what you call woman empowerment and uh, <laughs> you are our role model for many thank you so much ma'am uh, we welcome you then we have dr deepthi chaturvedi ma'am she is the principal of nurture international school bangalore ma'am says overcomes complex business challenges using experience backed judgment strong work ethic and irreproachable integrity driven by a visceral hard wired need to strategic to innovate and to disprove the word it can't be done mode she is a motivator mentor and lead talented professionals live the culture and led by example direct cross functional team using interactive and motivational leadership that supports people to willingly give 100% effort and loyalty distinguished record of publication in academic journals all over the country commitment to helping students developing their full potential in their studies strong philosophy of teaching and knowledge of many different methods to motivate students to develop their expertise in specific areas dedicated partner to various uh, uh, curricular activities and outreach events that help promote learning and support the community her uh, specialities are her excellent skills in reading analyzing research critical thinking and writing giving her the optimal tools to make further advances in the field He is strong or a oral communicator and lecturer in the classroom, an effective written communicator to students and other staff members. Excellent coaching, teaching, and motivational skills when working with individual students and encouraging them to work to their potential. Friendly and personable, making interactions with students and colleagues pleasant even when during ways students should improve. Ability to solid ability to stay organized on top of important deadlines. when teaching a full load of classes each semester using students friendly approach with mathematics to have in depth understanding and reasoning abreast with computer skills to use technology in designing and analyzing the subject to understand and deliver better political science is the additional subject that is successfully handled welcome ma'am and from this we can understand that your subject main subject is mathematics i think so uh ma'am we will like to know your uh, journey as an educationist where you started with school or whichever city you started and how come you came up to bangalore actually again i agree at many points with ava ma'am for everybody we can relate very easily that it remains like a roller coaster for us right it is somewhere please don't judge me uh, from that ways my age i am not that old but yes i started somewhere in 1994 
uh, when I was doing my graduation first year, that year only I got connected with a university as uh, just for this their computer classes and all. I was doing my NIIT course along. I am, it's like a person who tries to jump into various areas and if I don't do that, that I can't work. On a single area, I can't work with focus. I need multiple areas to change my focus at times to refresh. So I used to do so with my graduation, I was working with the university for computer classes. That time that university was working for spreading computer knowledge. 1994, you can understand it was a new era for computers and these things. So they were working for spreading computer knowledge in regional languages. We were developing computer content in Hindi, teaching computer uh, systems how to function, how to work, all that in Hindi. We were doing that in Kanpur. From there, I started. Then, uh, of course, continuing around four years with them, 1998, got married. And you will be surprised to know that for almost eight years, I did nothing. I went into a family where we were not supposed to, to be very frank. So I did nothing that time. But during that time, I increased my education path. I worked on that ways. I did, I did my MSc mathematics before marriage. And then I did my MA Paul Science, my research, my BA, my MA, uh, writing of your uh, books, a visual basic in Hindi, I wrote in 2001. Visual basic, so that that time visual basic was a new thing in 2000, 2001, that time. So yes, after that, I started with my schooling journey. Before that, I was mentoring kids at home. I call it mentoring because I strongly believe in a philosophy that if you teach, they will not learn. If you share, they will definitely take it. So my philosophy of teaching has always been sharing rather than teaching. I enjoy more of my time with classrooms rather than staff rooms. The staff rooms have been the place which I always avoided as a teacher. And I want my staff rooms to be very least political sort of in my principalship here because we all know how staff rooms are. We become judgmental for the students. We become judgmental for teachers when we sit in our staff rooms, actually. And that is what I always try to avoid. Second thing, what I have learned throughout this journey is that you grow along with every step you take up, you grow. As Abba ma'am said, these two years of pandemic, I am a resource person for Indian, uh, Indian Institute of Educational Management. That is for teachers training. So we take a lot of trainings for different uh, new segments that are coming up, and especially formative assessments, portfolio design, NEP. I have developed a course of NEP for IIEM. So these sort of things, actually, uh, when I went through more and more into that as a teacher, not as a principal, I'm saying, as a teacher, I have learned that teaching is the most creative profession where you can put all your positive energies and whatever even weird thoughts you have. Weird thoughts I am saying because students find those weird thoughts very friendly. We feel that how can we think this way? We are the principals or the teachers and this and that. When you come down to that process and just sit on floor and share your thoughts with them and try to work out those th thoughts with them, the teaching becomes lovely. And that is what I am trying to do as a principal also in my school, that please connect as much as you can. Stop teaching, stop using blackboard, whiteboard, stop dictating terms in class. Rather talk, rather let them talk, share more and more experience. So I'm a strong promoter for experiential learning. I try to give them even uh, during this time also, I try to give them through simulations, through virtual field trips, more of experiences and more of reflections from their side. And I am a strong, strong person who is against pen paper test. I have completed, revamped the assessment system in my school in past two years. Least pen paper test we are having, neither in terms of formatives nor in terms of summatives. More of storytelling as an assessment tool, uh, even a video reflection as an assessment tool, a role play as an assessment tool. Their annual functions are assessed for group work and teamwork and their social adaptations. So I am strongly working in these areas to give them the environment to grow and learn rather than to just learn and forget it after class 12. There are, there is a, that happens, actually that happens. And now to last two years, what is the point of getting Googled ideas and Googled answers from them? So we have to think something new. 
that goes beyond those four boundaries. And as a teacher, my only purpose is I'm actually telling it by heart. That is why I always say I'm a teacher by passion, not by profession. This is the only thing I felt I could do. So I am in this area. Otherwise, no. Uh, but uh, this is something like it's lovely to connect those kids. It's lovely to hear from them. It's lovely to give them a chance to explore and express. And they can do miracles if you give that. Because I have seen throughout my life, even when I was not in schooling, I was mentoring kids from home and dealing subject like mathematics till grade 12 for almost 18 years, I did that. And they can do wonders when you allow them to visualize. I always say visualize. If you can visualize, you, the half of the work of the teacher is done. So I always promote in these terms with my kids. I relate with them in these terms. At times I shout with them. I, at times now also after being a principal, I play with them. When they come to me with their birthday chocolates, I take the whole box and I say, thank you. These sort of stupid things I do with them. And that's why I, they enjoy it. And they enjoy coming to principal ma'am and sitting in their room and talk to them about their dinner experience for the whole day. These sort of things I do. But that gives me that learning that how to take up when you want them to do so. Because when you, I'm telling you, teacher, I'm sorry, teacher, I, I should say principles, respected principles. The only thing what I have learned throughout this journey is that more you connect with them, more you allow them to express, it is equally applicable for teachers also. More you allow to express to you, your work becomes easy when you want something to be done from their side. So ma'am, in, in one line, we can say that it should be a, uh, instead of being a teacher-oriented class, it should be a child-oriented class. Yes. This is communication this is, an, is very much important. Of course, when it will become a child-oriented class, of course, we'll, the teacher has to come down to the mental level of the child, and then only they'll be able to give something to the child. Otherwise, yes. the old system cannot be adopted at all. This yes. is this is the gist of whatever you want to say, ma'am. Thank yes. you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. Next, we have... Monica Shah, ma'am, she is the principal of uh, Global City International School, Bangalore. Ma'am ha has an uh, over a decade of strategic and senior management experience with a strong foundation in CIE, CBSC, and ICSC curricula. She has been associated with organizations such as Global City International School, Bangalore, CIM Hampton Court, uh, Masuri, Haching High School, Pune, Bishop Cotton Boys School, Bangalore. Uh, she has done 21st century leadership courses from Harvard University and CIE Institute of Quality has helped her to become a skilled educationist, a creative facilitator and a proficient team leader. Uh, Rajik University of Iceland has honored her with a certificate of appreciation for effective cooperation and great enthusiasm in constructing a friendly relationship at international level. Also, she has been recently awarded outstanding Leadership Principal of the Year by International Education Awards 2021. She has a passion for reading books and likes to spend quality or quantitative time in community activities for American Field Services, that is AFS. We welcome you, ma'am. Please, uh, and uh, we are happy you are over here, Monica, ma'am. Please you, let us know about this community activity service, AFS. I think so. Um, many of the schools uh, in uh, uh, North India are very much associated with AFS and uh, some of the schools in uh, Bangalore also are associated with uh, AFS and uh, usually, you know, they are doing lovely work with community service and uh, bringing, uh, I think so, during this uh, COVID uh, time, um, uh, you know, we have been having a problem with uh, collaborating with schools abroad and, you know, sending our kids. Usually our children we, uh, travel, they have been to uh, Finland in exchange programs and have been to Russia. Uh, but in last uh, couple of years, uh, especially during COVID time, all things, everything was literally closed down. And, you know, we all were thinking how we are going to uh, work together in this area. So I think so technology has been uh, a blessing also, you can say. And so we have a lot of collaborations uh, at present also. Um, I have 
my uh, senior children are in collaboration with school from uh, germany and we have uh, children collaborating it's an online uh, student exchange program uh, they are collaborating uh, in uh, with a school uh, in south uh, america ecuador uh, there is uh, one more uh, online exchange program going on right now so uh, I, uh, i always feel this that uh, whenever you know uh, as uh, one of the principals also said when we, whenever we are struck with something uh, and we don't know like you know now what do we what do we do because uh, afs usually always had this for us uh, working together and you know finding out exchange programs with children and then uh, then we approached them and we said if we can have something to do with the uh, you know different states in our own country if we can have exchange program and still uh, i am really looking for that uh, if we can have exchange programs you know schools from bangalore and getting connected with schools from uh, north and uh, it will be i personally feel it will be very uh, i think so children will love that because there is so much to learn from each state whether you know food habits culture and languages and uh, there is so much to learn from each other uh, obviously country wise definitely we have so much to but uh, we are so versatile when, when you see diversified in uh, from language to um, food habits everything so uh, i personally feel i am still looking for i am working with some of the uh, schools uh, in uh, india also so that uh, we can have some exchange programs for children and uh, and when they interact with each other this tremendous uh, you know learning this amazing uh, that we always say this uh, everything we can find on google there's nothing which we cannot find but when children uh, interact with each other at the same age group level when they interact with each other uh, the findings are amazing and i think so uh, they will definitely learn a lot so uh, i'm uh, here also there are uh, five, five six uh, uh principles uh, you know together we all are here so uh, you know just an appeal uh, i would love that uh, you know if we can have some online exchange program with our uh, different schools from uh, you know different states from india sure, also man. that would absolutely, be lovely absolutely you know when we have student exchange program in india or abroad children learn a lot they learn from each other yes yes definitely they yes. learn from each other if, if internet or google cannot tell everything the you know the exposure which the interaction gives that cannot be given by anyone i just would But, like to add i am sorry to interfere but yes, since it is very appealing sort of thing so in my last session like this only i met a lady she was deepthi sharma from kaziabad school pragyan school and we started our uh, exchange program like this only online we are having a toykathon in which uh, the teams are having from oh, across the bridge 6 to 10 we are having the teams are having students equal numbers like half from my school yes, half yes. From their school and we have given them projects that they are developing on science and maths concept yes. and they will be presenting in front of the parents of both the schools it will be uploaded in both the schools youtube channels and all the social media and they will uh, mentor teachers are also grouped in a way from both the schools so that toykathon project we have started with that school and of course Uh, so we all are here sir is having all numbers if he can share with us sure. then uh, we can get in touch yes yes definitely like of i course. am absolutely in because uh, from the time although when, monica ma'am me and you belong to the same city still we can have something that <laughs> way yeah, definitely see so, uh, uh, when we say that we uh, we all are from uh, similar uh, you know having so so many similarities there will be so many differences too yes. and that would be lovely to discover yes. Yes. work on it and so definitely ma'am ma i'll i'll help out in this because i have uh, many principals who are connected and we have a group or whatever it is and we can share all this over there and uh, this can be done it's helpful for everyone yes definitely program. in definitely. fact sometimes it happens that principals uh, in the same you know uh, city they don't like to connect they like to connect with other cities whatever it may be due to management or whatever it is so that can be done that can be done in the different cities also one pandit here and of course ma'am after the show i'll get connected and we will for sure do something regarding this yeah yeah sure thank sure. you thank you so much ma'am thank you so much uh, next we have uh, richa sharma ma'am she is the principal of raghav global school noida ma'am is a strong education professional 
with a bachelor's degree in education and a master's degree in English from the University of Delhi. She is also a CELTA qualified teacher from the University of Cambridge ESOL examination, who has attended leadership training program at Harvard's Graduate School of Education, Harvard University, and Indian Institute of Management, Ahmedabad. Apart from lectures uh, conducted by professors from Harvard and Stanford University, she started her career in 2001 with Salwan Public School, Delhi, as English language teacher, and served for nine years. Subsequently, she was uh, promoted to vice principal, Salwan Public School, Delhi, for eight years, from June 2018 to May 2021. She was principal and head of the school at Balwantre Mehta Vidya Bhavan ASMA. Presently, she is the principal of Ragar Global School, Noida, a firm believer in collaborative leadership. She deploys her knowledge of developing a productive child-centered environment to maximize the learning experience and cultivating leadership in others. She has taken the challenges of development, developing the institution with a vision, empowering through learning and a strong focus on values, technology, innovation and system thinking. With over two decades of domain experience, she is instrumental in developing the strategic roadmap of the institution to maintain and progressively improve the benchmark in academics and extracurricular development and pedagogy. She's a dedicated resource person, educational professional with a proven ability in fostering relationship between the stakeholders, institution, teachers, student, and a parent, parents for creating a conductive environment where everyone le learns, creating a school that is constantly learning the best practices applied across the globe by designing teaching modules with hand-on approach and designing development and customizing teaching curriculum for the students and assisting educators in the implementation of classroom instruct instructions, lesson plans, and students' assessment. She was honored with the State Teachers Award by the government of NCT Delhi for her key role in the growth and development of education. In 2020, she became a governing body member of the Universalization of Elementary Education Mission that is Samagra Shiksha under government of NCT of Delhi. We welcome you, ma'am. And again, all of you have received so many awards on national and international level that can't be read. And also you are associated with, you know, associations on national and international level. We welcome you, ma'am. Please let us know about yourself and especially about this government initiative of NCT. Uh, good evening and thank you. Uh chando for this platform and meeting with all uh, my um, colleague members the educators so um, well, my journey of education uh, has been very interesting and exciting and uh, i came into education by choice i would say that and why i do say with this choice because i i find many people uh, you know, starting with something else and later on in the part of their career, they choose to enter the education uh, sector. Uh, I am uh, very happy, you know, I feel really um, delighted to, uh, you know, share with you all that I started my career as a teacher and it was a, a, pra a, a path of growth and learning for me. So from uh, the classroom to a teacher's table and then entering into uh, the principal's domain to the administration has been very exciting. And um, that has uh, great learning lessons for me. And this is the reason that I, I believe that I can understand the things um, on the other side of my uh, you know, uh, table as such with what's happening in the mind of a child and what's happening in the mind of a teacher. And of course, um, you know, balancing between the student, teacher, parent, and the management, so all uh, stakeholders. Uh, my training at CELTA from Cambridge University was basically for uh, enhancing my English language teaching as at a uh, you know school level for the students and for the teachers, for organizing a lot of workshops on English language teaching. And um, my training for the education management at Indabad IIM or at Harvard University was basically catering to uh, uh, the vision that I have stated that is empowering through learning, wherein I believe in collegiality. Uh, that means everyone supports everyone's learning. As uh, you know, Madam Monica just shared that uh, we uh, uh, you know, can collaborate. So uh, this is something where uh, students support teachers, teachers support students, even parents support, the management support each other. 
so whereby you know creating a school that learns so everybody is involved in learning growing and evolving so uh, me being part of the samagra shiksha abhiyan or you know uh, the government awarding me for uh, my contribution in education is basically the projects that i have done with students with teachers uh, i've been involved in uh, creating world class exhibitions on um, early childhood education on vedanta philosophy of education uh on um the uh, you know uh, re- the philosophy of early childhood that is regio emilia and um uh, integrating art into education as well and uh, personally i have always believed in collaborative leadership uh you know i'll be talking uh, to you uh, you know in my uh, further address as well that uh, sure. what collaborative leadership all is all about uh, all i can say is that um do you know technically uh, i am the principal head of the school but i have always believed that i am a learner and uh, lifelong learning is something which i you know always believe in and uh, sharing and learning is something which i always encourage in my school and uh, this is the reason that i am less in my office and i am more in the staff room and with the students in the class or in the corridor because i i believe i uh, can uh, never leave classrooms this teaching is something which is still in me and i still teach and i still go back to the classrooms uh, and uh, that is the most interesting part of the day uh, though now we are online on uh, on the online platform because of the covid situations and i'm looking forward to uh, all students and teachers coming back on the offline mode so that uh, we can have again hands on experiential learning in different learning programs back in school that's great ma'am welcome ma'am thank you so much uh, next we have rupa sen ma'am ma'am is the principal of bangalore international school bangalore uh, ma'am believes on the quotation uh, said by mr nesl mandela education is the most powerful weapon by which you can change the world in her last 30 years journey she has been using this powerful tool to change her life and transform the lives of those students she met her aim was to ensure to teach the heart and not just the mind for without harmony between the two no education is complete this journey is quite unique it did not follow a set pattern of moving up her yearning for new learning pushed her to take bold path breaking steps challenge barriers and enrich with experiences that are valuable and immersive this journey strengthened her self belief that if one can has the right focus with genuine in- intention nothing is impossible the surgeon started way back in kolkata city of joy where she took several challenges assignment as a teacher coordinator impacting both staff and students positively she worked under resource yet there was no looking back she created a success story which was very diff- different in those times of the 90s and people could hardly believe it is here she gained a strong control of the innovative teaching practices under the cbsc system and students were inspired to attend her class soon she became a teacher who inspired many to follow their heart and chase the dream no matter how difficult the road may be the success of this assignment redefined the direction of her life she was aiming for a higher purpose that cannot remain a lofty idol she was clear that her move to new state that is delhi will be contrast to what she experienced earlier and barriers will be more than expected with a deep courage and firm conviction she faced it all to reset another success in the renowned schools she worked she reinvented and redesigned structures and process and led the school fearlessly without compromising on the holistic skill development of her students she adopted and she adapted and adopted the sharp contrast appreciated the difference thus creating a warm school climate where all thrives with ease she was nominated as a nodal chief officer of cbsc she was invited being member of the syllabus planning committee in ncert and became the member of the question bank committee in ncert through many of her writings in the newspaper she was well known respected person in the academia however with all these laurels she was not yet ready to settle and remain the same she was yearning to learn uh, learn and grow and do something different she took the least trodden path traveled the new road repurposed to fully understand and master the 
two new international curriculum of teaching the ib and cambridge at the same time she was ready to kick start her journey with new challenges that were overwhelming at times but joyful she transformed herself to become a student first undertook the rigorous process while focusing to bring a difference in the mind of her students every day was a new day riddled with a new set of problems but they were stimulant to forge ahead she discovered new pathways and new approach uh, which if successfully delivered the outcome will be significant game changing ones driving change and managing people is what she enjoys the most she relies from the assignment being a people uh, being a people's person she can easily connect with the diverse people regardless of the geographical location that might belong with her accumulated skill sets and a newly acquired courage she wanted to impact a micro level people school where her positional authority to lead and transform many more's life at this point she was aiming something bigger and higher she aspired pushed to accept with this short move to a very contrasting southern state of india like kerala where she became the principal of the only ib board uh, this journey was daunting with her adaptive and am uh, i think we should know it from you that uh, as a, when you started up your uh, journey as a principal as we have read this it will be better which comes from your mouth that you were as a teacher at many places many states then you have adopted up with the ib and icsc and ig board and then you came as a principal please let us know about your journey as a principal when you came up to carolina ib board school and further on ma'am please ma'am you are muted i'm extremely sorry this is the challenge that we we people are still uh, you know having so we people are of the yester years we people are not today today's children are in one minute they would have solved this problem thank you so much mr chando for inviting me and the panel in this august gathering so my journey as mr chando was reading is uh, did not follow a very set pattern however just like everybody of you the 30 years that i can recollect now started when i was a young girl i mean uh, i had my baby brother so the passion of teaching him began then i didn't know that i will be a teacher but because i am an older sister and those days in the family it was expected that the older sister will take care of the younger brother i started teaching him i enjoyed the process as a older sister and much later i thought that why not take it up for others who might just need my knowledge knowledge sharing somebody just used the word now those days these these uh, terms and jargons were not heard of i started with a uh, attitude to serve so service became a very important part and integral part in my life because i was raised in a christian missionary school in kolkata and then in a christian missionary college which you all know st xavier's college of kolkata under the calcutta university and it is from there i started to develop a service in the service part of the teaching not the teaching part or uh, demonstrating authority we all have authority when we gain certain amount of knowledge what i realized that if you have a heart and you have the heart to serve them the whole purpose of teaching changes the dimension and the meaning becomes different from that i also worked a little bit with the christian missionary of charity mother mother teresa's home for just a brief period because it was always that service thing that was propelling me besides teaching what else can i do how can i give back to the society it was way back then and this part of administration mr chando that you just now mentioned it is also simultaneous with my teaching career because i was a principal in gurgaon very early uh, in my life so somewhere the the attribute of leading with responsibility with accountability somebody saw in me very early and in gurgaon sector 30 the 32 i became the principal the the second principal of the school the first principal left the school and somehow 
they didn't find anybody so i was asked in that interview the question are you willing to take this it's a challenging opportunity you've not been a principal you've just been a classroom teacher okay you're producing good results but principal's job is just not result it's a very macro level job so i had no hesitation because from then already my journey took a different turn i became the principal and that that principalship in gurgaon school where it was a cbsc school i had no idea how to start with authorization process because cbsc authorization those days were different completely different i was trained by none other than ashok ganguly of the cbsc and some of us we few principals were directly mentored and trained by mr ganguly much later by mr uh, balakrishnan so from there my journey began that what is to be a principal you are no more a classroom teacher you have to look after your people you have to look after your children the staff and the school the driver everybody is all looking at you so you you become the central focus of everything that you do but a huge amount of responsibility beyond students and marks in the classroom that was the first taste i realized that it was wonderful and i was very successful at, as mr chandok said a very very important member in the ncrt always running uh, the face of ncrt and uh, gurgaon and in gurgaon very much well known in most of the gurgaon uh, principals meet i was always invited and from there i took a decision that 15 years i have given my life to cbsc and just when cbsc was taking a different turn of thinking how do we bring about a change doing cca and all these things that is the time i thought why not give a little different dimension because i'm always that hunger in me that hungry for doing something different something new and be creative what could we create in our cbsc that i cannot see any longer i could not see in my in my own sense i could not see so the hunger set so much deep that i actually went back to learn the ib which was so very new had no clue no idea but thank god with a firm education and a firm belief i could manage the ib curriculum now from the ib curriculum nobody will give you the principalship so they will ask you to be a teacher first and i accepted that responsibility therefore the journey is very very unconventional it was not a smooth sailing that from there you suddenly become an ib principal it cannot happen and thank god i became a teacher first in ib then to become a principal in kerala school so as a teacher i noticed whatever you have said is so true and more true because the ib professes it has to be a transformation and the transformation has to be evidence based approach without an evidence without uh, enjoying that in the classroom you cannot you cannot call yourself to be a lifelong learner you have to enjoy that process and you have to instill that in your children so all my 3 years in the classroom it was not anything no knowledge sharing as you rightly said a click of a button and those children those times they used to learn everything by that time there was a blackberry phone they used to just open the phone and get everything the drop of the hat so what am i going to contribute something different that they don't know what all of you said is what i did is bring about that experience and let's explore so this is my motive and this is my goal let's explore to experience and experience something totally new and then reflect whether that experience is making you stronger or weaker if it is making you stronger carry on with that experience and add to your profile that's exactly what i did so from there i got this mission that why not go back and change lives in a to contrast state where the language was different food was different diversity to what level i don't think anybody could understand at that point of time myself also and i landed up there i got a good opportunity it was definitely challenging but as you all know that in challenges lies the best uh, part of you so the version of me came out best when i was in kerala it was there i stayed there for 6 years not not even a smaller time i still think that it's god's way of showing my higher purpose i'm not sure how i did it but from authorization bp authorization p 
PYP authorization, I learned both the curriculums very well. And I also brought about something called International Student Exchange Program. So it is in Kerala, which became my laboratory to understand, are we really changing and transforming their lives outside the classroom beyond teaching subjects? So it's there when I learned the concept of whole child. Much later, when I went to Harvard, I understood what's a whole child. But when I was in Kerala, I learned that we need to develop all the facets of the mind that cannot be confined to the boundaries of subject. It's there when I actually opened up four student exchange program where the students of different countries came to my school and our school those days, of course, 2019 till about 2019, the world was a different one. You could travel, you could meet people easily without hesitation and no vaccination. So those times we enjoyed this and I found there is a profound change in every mind who, who took this excursion to explore. Of course, it comes at a cost, but that cost is definitely to be uh, later on giving you enough and more value and advantage. So when they wrote their university portfolio, it became a very important value added thing to their lives. And many of my students got opportunities in the good universities from Kerala. It is from there that I became the round square head. And the round square circuit is something like what Ma, uh, Monica Mann just now said. It is like AFS, where you are collaborating with all the round square heads of India, Gulf, and the world. So imagine the world is your classroom. And being a principal who's so much widely traveled, I let all my children participate in these conferences, meetings, learning about the food habit, learning about what Africa is. It's just not jungle. We, we must change our perception. All these things I could do in that laboratory called the International School of Kerala. And from there, I took the journey to a different turn. From there, I moved to Bangalore after six years. And in this school, which is again a very, very novel journey, I must say. It's the only school that I see uh, run by the parent body and there is no owner in this school. So I am the head of school and the curriculum are same, but there are no owners. So how are you going to report? What was the, what was the thought in my mind? Because all these years, I was reporting to a board and the owner of a school. This is the first school. Nobody is an owner. What a wonderful model, but an extremely complex model. And in that complexity, I encountered Corona. In that complexity and the volatility, when the world was so suffering, we also lost our staff. Uh, and I just entered the school to see that Corona has knocked our door. And here it is a parent's body who are my bosses. So together we have developed a beautiful model called a consultative leadership approach. So I am the head of school, but I have a whole bunch of uh, people working together and every decision making is with parents with us. So earlier in my school, no parent was supposed to come and make a decision making. This is that's, a fantastic That's model. great, man. That's, that you had a wonderful, I you had a very long and decide. wonderful journey. Yeah, you yes, had a very yes, wonderful yes. and long journey. And hats off to you. I mean, uh, you are versatile, moving everywhere with all the boards. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome, ma'am. Uh, next, we have a very interesting uh, personality that is Mayank Jain, who is the founder and CEO of uh, Easy Schooling. Let me give a uh, professional introduction. Mayank Jain, he has obtained a degree of BTEC from one of the most prestigious colleges in India, DCE. While in college, he founded a platform called Easy Schooling that would go on to become the largest admission platform in Delhi NCR and now uh, Bangalore, Pune and Mumbai also. He has helped around 25,000 plus parents in their admissions journey through his Zoom sessions. He also visited 2,000 plus of schools across India and consulted and guided them on how to boost admissions. He knows the ins and outs of this field like no one else has. So let me tell you that I met him in one of the sessions he was there as a speaker and I also I was a speaker 
and i came to know about a very new thing which has come into the education field that is what you called uh, uh, admission portal what you called easy schooling where the uh, parents in the big cities when they roam about for the schools and they are not able to you know know about the features uh, about the schools and they want to get the child admitted in, in this school but they are not knowing what this school is having so there he is helping the parents as well as a teacher he is bridging up the gap between the parents and the you know uh, administration that is school and uh, what likely he is doing he'll tell himself and uh, man please tell us you are a very young fellow and i must tell you that he is a very young fellow he has his family business he didn't join his family business and uh, he started up this and he will also tell you why he started this please man over to you Okay, so thanks a lot, everybody. And uh, Richard, ma'am, school Raghav Global School. I have heard a lot, so it's a very good school in Noida. And I have also heard a lot about Rahul International School. So uh, thanks a lot. It's great to meet you all uh, over virtually. I have visited Bangalore and Pune as well. So if I tell you about uh, myself, so I. Main... लाइक वेन आई स्टार्टेड लाइक ट्वेल्थ में हर बच्चा होता है तो उसको मतलब अगर कुछ नहीं मिलता करने का तो इंजीनियरिंग कर लेता है तो उस वजह से मेरे को भी इलेवेंथ ट्वेल्थ में माई माई पेरेंट्स टोल्ड मी कि चलो इंजीनियरिंग कर लो सो आई डिड इंजीनियरिंग आई क्रैक जेई मेन्स एंड आई गॉट इन टू डी सी डेली कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग तो फिर इंजीनियरिंग करते करते फिगर आउट करा कि हाँ यार ये प्रॉब्लम है जो हमें सॉल्व करनी है तो क्या हुआ मेरे साथ एक इंसिडेंट हुआ आई वॉज पार्टिसिपेट लाइक बिफोर गोइंग इन टू अ गूगल हैकाथन मेरे एल्डर ब्रदर आई यूएसएस एंड ही वाज स्ट्रगलिंग कि मैं कौन से स्कूल में एडमिशन लू एंड एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ मिस इन्फॉर्मेशन अराउंड द इंटरनेट देर इज नथिंग दैट इज बीइंग देयर फॉर पेरेंट्स टू गाइड कौन से स्कूल में जाना है एंड सब ये कॉन्सेप्ट बना हुआ था कि शर्मा जी के लड़के ने उस स्कूल में कराया तो हम भी उस स्कूल में एडमिशन करा लेते हैं तो जो एक हर्ड मेंटेलिटी होती है उस तरीके से बच्चों का पंद्रह साल जो अगले बिताने हैं एक स्कूल में वो डिसाइड हो रहा था तो एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम आई रियलाइज यार इतनी बड़ी प्रॉब्लम है ये बच्चे की एंड नेक्स्ट फिफ्टीन इयर्स ऑफ दैट किड विल बी डिसाइडेड विद दी स्कूल दैट दे गेट इन टू एंड आई आई टोटली रिस्पेक्ट ऑल द स्कूल लीडर्स एंड स्कूल लीडर्स ऑल्सो प्ले अ वेरी क्रूशल रोल इन रनिंग दैट स्कूल की वो किस डायरेक्शन में स्कूल जाएगा तो ये ये प्रॉब्लम थी दूसरी प्रॉब्लम जो हमने फेस करी वो करी कि हमें हर स्कूल में ऑफलाइन जाना पड़ रहा था या हर स्कूल की वेबसाइट पर अलग अलग जाके हमें देखना पड़ रहा था तो मेरे भैया माय ब्रदर टुक अराउंड 15 डेज ऑफ लीव टू गेट इनटू अवर स्कूल एक्चुअली सो दीज प्रॉब्लम्स वी नीडेड टू सॉल्व एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम सो आई पार्टिसिपेटेड इन दैट गूगल हैकाथन देन आई क्रिएटेड एन एमवीपी तो काफी बढ़िया स्टार्ट हुआ तो राइट नाउ वी आर सिटिंग एट 500 प्लस स्कूल्स like lakhs of parents are visiting our platform we are able to bridge that gap a bit uh, thoda bahut hamara try hai karne ka but major jo uh, issue aur jo abhi bhi main zoom sessions leta hu personally school se milta hu to wo yahi hai ki jo ye psychology hai herd mentality wali usko change kiya jaye jitna kar sakte hain and second jo maine last 2 years mein covid ke time pe face kara hai ki parents jo hai wo swiggy zomato idhar se to sab order kar rahe hain but school fees ke time pe they are being reluctant jo ab change hua hai kafi Now they are accepting कि कोविड कहीं नहीं जाने वाला तो लास्ट सिक्स मंथ में आई थिंक चेंज हुआ है बट लास्ट स्टार्टिंग के वन वन एंड हाफ ईयर काफी स्ट्रगल हुआ था हमें उस चीज में तो उस मेंटेलिटी को कि पेरेंट्स शुड टेक एक्चुअली एडुकेशन एट फर्स्ट प्रस्पेक्टिव आई वॉज टॉकिंग टू अ डॉक्टर वन डे ही हैज अ किड ऑफ अराउंड फोर ईयर्स उनको एबीसीडी तक नहीं आती थी उनके बच्चों को तो मैंने पूछा सर आपने एडमिशन क्यों नहीं कराया चाहे वर्चुअली आई वुड एक्सेप्ट दैट सिक्सटी सेवेंटी परसेंट होता है ऑफलाइन का बट एडमिशन क्यों नहीं कराया कहते एक साल की फीस देके क्या खराब करनी फीस तो अगर कोई डॉक्टर ऐसी चीजें स्टेटमेंट बोलेगा तो दैट इज नॉट राइट फॉर आर एडुकेशन सिस्टम एंड रेपेशन ऑफ दिस time period will be seen after 15 to 17 years so i think education is really important and that should be the priority for each and every parent so i am trying my level best to educate as many parents as possible uh, regarding the same aspect that's great that's it all the best to you you are doing a wonderful job for the you know education fraternity uh, we'll come up to the next round as we are in shortage of time uh, we will only be allowing around one or one and a half minute for each answer please uh first of all i'll come up to aba jadav ma'am ma'am the first question or your uh, first request for you is that the life of a principal is filled with challenges although all the time 24 into 7 we are filled up with challenges the life of the principal is filled with challenges one of the challenges to deal with the problem creating parents or the unsatisfied parent ma'am can you guide us that how do you deal or how should we deal up with these type of parents 
well uh, the question is very interesting because in my school i don't know will you believe it or not but yes ours is a no complaint school so our parents are very happy and satisfied no doubt uh, when i joined in july over here in rahul international school as there was no principal at that time yes the teachers they were handling uh, the whole school and they were actually facing that uh, trauma time that principal is not there and if parent has query where to go so the moment they came to know there's a principal half problem is solved there only and then as i uh, set on the place uh, set on this uh, you know position of that uh, principal over there i started sorting out each and every problem uh, which came around i i i did one online meeting with parents i k i noted down all the concerns what they were facing maybe it's related to book maybe it's related to technology or maybe uh, you know any xyz issue so we noted down that and then i started concerning with the related person because ours is a franchise of rahul international so our whole system is like you know controlled with the main branch rahul international at mira road so definitely i started uh, you know all the mail ka khel and uh, very soon everything was at its right place and apart from that what parent expect sorry what parents expect for his child they expect extra value extra nurturing apart from academics and that is what i started giving to children online we started school assembly online so ev uh, every day at 8:30 sharp all children they are connected with one link and then we have a proper school assembly the way we have uh, offline assembly yes so that is what attracted parents uh, because they have started finding changes in their children then we have uh, introduced one star performer of the month award for every student and with certain uh, you know rules that every child has to keep their uh, camera open they have to sit properly with the uh, proper bath hair do everything neat and clean they are not supposed to shout in the class all that discipline should be maintained and soon my whole school was having almost nearing to 100% attendance every day so yes. that is what parent wants when child is learning extra something you know apart from academics so this is how uh, uh, most of the problems were solved so what i suggest to everyone is whenever parent comes to you just identify what exactly the root cause behind its com his complaint it may be possible that it is just a misunderstanding or miscommunication by the teacher as a principal you should look into that that uh, whether teacher has communicated it properly or not if any concern is there so first always ask to teacher that that parent has come to me with this concern what has happened exactly so teacher will report you what exactly the matter is and pehle teachers ko apne confidence mein le kar ke you know you have to uh, come to the root cause and then you have to talk to parent and i will always suggest ki hame apne teacher ke liye hamesha defensive rehna chahiye हमें कभी भी अपने स्टाफ का बुरा उनको नहीं दिखाना वी शुड ऑलवेज यू नो सपोर्ट आर स्टाफ बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम पेरेंट्स दे सिंपली यू नो क्रिएट एन इशू जस्ट बिकॉज दे डोंट वांट टू पे द फीस वी हैव वन सच पेरेंट इन आवर स्कूल वन सच जस्ट वन पेरेंट हु सिंस बिगिनिंग ही इज फाइंडिंग वन नॉट द अदर वे टू क्रिएट एन इशू सो दैट ही हैज टू नॉट टू पे द रिमेनिंग फीस और ही वॉन्ट्स कंसेशन सो इनिशियली हैज मैम आप तो ऑनलाइन करवाते हो वर्कशीट्स वगैरह नहीं मिलती आप छोटे बच्चों को देते हो हमें नहीं देते हो सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड स्टूडेंट सो वी सेट सर वी प्रोवाइड ऑनलाइन वर्कशीट्स फॉर द हायर ग्रेड्स एंड नॉट द प्रिंट चीज बट ही वॉज ऑन टू दैट नो वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू पे फीस दैन दिस एंड दैट सो आई स्पेशली फॉर दैट फेलो आई टुक आउट ऑल द प्रिंट्स जितने वर्कशीट थे आई रिमेंबर ऑलमोस्ट एक बच्चे के लिए उस टाइम पे वो छह महीने के करीब करीब फोर हंड्रेड फाइव हंड्रेड शीट्स हो गए होंगे तब तक i gave all of him and i said make sure that your child completes everything i know it's not going to happen second That's session ka bhi mangne se pehle usko de diya taki bole na ab wo problem solve ho gaya now he is creating ma'am aapne yoga nahi karwaya aapne dance nahi karwaya aapne pt nahi kara maine kaha sir humne na uska charge liya hai aur na wo activities online education mein included hai so again so फाइनल का मैंने उनको बोल दिया सर ऐसा है कि हम आपकी एक्सपेक्टेशन पूरी नहीं कर सकते वी आर सो बैड वी नो वी आर फीलिंग सो सॉरी सो बेटर यू टेक लिविंग सर्टिफिकेट फ्रॉम योर एंड गो टू अ स्कूल वेयर दीज काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स आर बीन तब उसके बाद उसका कोई क्वेश्चन नहीं है सो दैट इज द फर्स्ट थिंग कभी भी अपने आप को ना पेरेंट्स के आगे सरेंडर नहीं करना है प्रेशराइज फील नहीं करवाना है ऑलवेज कीप योर 
uh, position up in front of parents be confident be confident in your system be confident in this in your school in your management to kabhi bhi hame ye nahi sochna hai ki are ye complaint leke aa gaya ab main kya karu nahi pe us samay aapne hamesha unko boldly face karna hai absolutely right ma'am absolutely yes. right and we have to face this our parents and uh, we have to try our level best that we have to satisfy them otherwise the last resort is that we have to say them that if you are not satisfied you can quit from here because whatever facilities we are giving no none of the other school will entertain so much right absolutely right ma'am thank you so much ma'am next we'll come to monica ma'am ma'am uh, again a very small answer i need the another challenge is to tackle the teachers that is very important how do you encourage or you motivate your teachers oh so uh, actually when i am uh, listening to you i personally feel you know there is uh there is not a single a simple one way where we can encourage and motivate them so i know that we have time constraint <laughs> so uh, but still uh, what major uh, few which i myself feel uh, one important one uh, which every principal uh, should do is make ourselves available definitely so as a as a school administrator you know may to be uh, make their lives easy uh, is our main role to play so uh, however we can be available for them for any kind of interaction where any kind of solution if if they have any problem if they can uh, easily we are available and we have an open door policy where we can you know they don't uh they don't have to hesitate before they, there are schools i have been working as you know past for two decades now i have seen that there are pas and you need to take appointments with principals and then principal says i don't have you know i have, for me i always say to my teachers you just peep in from the door if the room is empty and i am not on the phone that is the time for you all to come inside so i tell them that i am 100% available for you uh, i try my level best i know that is not uh, right at times um, people message me in the late evenings uh, at night but i sometimes feel that as a principal i don't think so any teacher will message any principal just to talk uh, you know tea time talk is not going to happen so there must be something very urgent where she will find that solace if i am available so that is one big thing which i feel uh, which will motivate and encourage a teacher to be part of a school for a longer time is to be available and definitely because ma'am i think this is the most important thing because they'll feel concerned that yes. principal ma'am because uh, i do say to my teachers we are not we are not working here we are a family we like a family and yes. your family members i am i am your head i'm not head actually i am your elder and any time you are most welcome when this belongness thing comes into their mind they will you know give their 100% yes, for sure yes. that, so that I, is I, this, and this, after this everything will be solved yes after so and few other things which definitely uh, you know feel uh, they feel motivated and very encouraged is when you praise that small efforts which they make of course small efforts it's it doesn't matter that you know we have to do it a very big pomp and show and there is a big program yeah. on the stage and you know just a small staff meeting and you just mention that you know so and so teacher did this they feel so nice and you know they feel valued the most important thing is you know they feel the pa- being part of a family and it is an extended family whichever school we all are working and yes, definitely sir. it every school does that leave some room for you know budget for small gifts and you know things like Absolutely. you know which will make them feel special or encourage teachers you know to uh, seek professional development opportunities maybe in school outside there are so many ma'am uh, when you will uh, listen to them they listen to you also yeah <laughs> when so, you join them to any time they can enter your room and talk to you talk yes. uh, they will try to give 100% that yeah. is the key point uh, whatever you said that the most most important thing is this yes, that yes. when and you one, are and uh, few more two more things there are there is one more is provide opportunities no for them to take a break break not in the sense there are times when you know uh, there are personal things which just requires and i don't know in many schools uh, they must be doing it but many schools they don't don't have this 
they don't encourage one hour permissions and two hour permissions they don't we have this half a day or a full day so there are see we all are uh, at present in especially in metro cities and people husband and wife both are working so there are times when you know teacher just requires to go for an hour yes, maybe to her child's ptm and she just wants to, to attend we need we need we are human beings and we need to understand that people may have some emergencies and uh, if yeah. you are so you know we, some we, liberty has to be given comfort yeah just give yeah. them some you know give them a teacher needs just a voice let them yeah. be uh, you know just let them be heard in the meeting if we can take their inputs they will feel valued they feel feel that you know okay my opinion and my uh, my opinion is also taken in when there is a certain decision uh taken and specially uh, recognize you know the key stress times so yeah. don't overload the teachers with professional development courses especially during report card <laughs> report card season when you know you when you have these uh, exam times and uh, people have to do corrections and at that point also if we stress them for various you know yes, uh, go and attend seminars and webinars it is not going to you know it will be very difficult and if they are not enjoying that, if they yes. are not enjoying their job there's no use yes. and there's no the last one that is for sure is, and that all all depends upon the head of the institution that is the yes place. and last not the least a lot of encouragement needs to be given for collaboration when teachers you know they feel not competitive with each other but they feel that they know together they can collaborate and they can do marvelous work so there is this plan board is there now you have google drive people can collaborate together and work on different assignments and work together it will ease out their burden also yes, so these things i feel you know that each teacher know they just needs we need that each one of them is having a lot of power within themselves they have yes, that sir. power in themselves we just need to you know just little nudge a little you know little direction little ma'am there are there are so many things to speak and we as a principals are facing so many things as related to, yes. to, yes. to all the stakeholders that we can talk about two to three days about that yes. and that will and that will be less but we are in short of time also yes. i'm so sorry absolutely we'll yeah. come up to richa richa ma'am ma'am please uh, if you can short and down uh, summarize that uh, how can we uh, motivate or how do you motivate your teachers sorry uh, just see, to me, i sir, would I have... मैम एक मिनट मेरे को अभी अर्जेंटली निकलना पड़ेगा बिकॉज आई हैव इमरजेंसी सो आई हैव टू लीव इफ यू एक्सक्यूज नो नो थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर इन यू नो आई ऑलमोस्ट एग्री विद व्हाट यू नो मोनिका मैम हैज जस्ट स्टेटेड इन फैक्ट आई वुड जस्ट लाइक टू एड ऑन सर्टन फ्यू पॉइंट बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ पॉइंट बीन कवर्ड बाई हॉर and um, uh, of course i always value the open door policy so i would just share that how i have uh, though my office doors are always open but i have uh, a coffee with teacher day so generally uh, once in a month i always invite one teacher to have a cup of uh, you know coffee with me where which is just an informal discussion about education family what's happening in school any uh, exciting thing or uh, suggestion the teacher would like to give so you know casual talk because uh, there is an organizational structure in school and at times the teacher really feels that you know uh, uh, stating or suggesting something is way beyond her uh, level because it has to come through the class coordinator and coordinator and hod and vice principal and principal uh so second thing that we do uh, to motivate our teacher is sponsoring their professional development it is something that we encourage because we encourage teachers to evolve and uh, we guide them for their professional growth would uh, really encourage them to go for their higher education the as much as i can support them whether they would like to go for their masters or in philo for their phd's or they would like to you know uh, go for certain uh, professional training programs so that is one of the way to motivate your teachers because they want to evolve and you know grow as uh, the intellectual unit of the school um one important thing that i really encourage and motivate uh, amongst my teacher is um decision making 
uh, many a times you see um, i encourage uh, teachers to come up with suggestions beyond uh, the other leaders in the school for example the hots or the coordinators uh, i give an ear i listen to even the suggestions of the teachers um, and make them feel that their decision matters uh, again you know breaking the organizational structure uh, why i do this is uh this is the way to start uh you know uh training the next line of leadership which is very very important so there is one line of leadership al already there in your school that's existing but you know to break the monotony and to make feel teachers valued that yes they we we value their opinion we value them so give them certain powers give them certain uh leadership responsibilities as well Uh, beyond a sub being a subject teacher or a class teacher so uh, i believe the organizational structure in my school is that i have um uh, one a first line of leadership and second line and third line of leadership as well available so they they feel responsible they are part of the leadership and uh, something which i really discourage is the lizard syndrome so generally you know across um, uh, th this is a kind of mindset which uh, the heads have that i am the lizard who's holding the uh, this is the school i am the only identity there so this is not uh, the, the right way or the right approach i would say that it's basically everybody's contribution so it's not the individuals that matter but teams matter so creating that team is very important and when you give responsibility give leadership role to your teachers is also one of the ways to motivate and last point because the time there's a paucity of time the most important exciting thing is working uh, and creating social events in the school so uh, apart from teachers day we have uh, a sports day for teachers i have a yoga day for teachers uh, we have um, uh, a leadership camp which is a kind of an adventure camp for teachers where we go out of the school campus together spend a day or two we bond together and uh, you know uh, encouraging teachers to uh move out of the comfort zone and uh, definitely i am part of that camp with them so this is something which is really exciting great, for yeah. teachers and they, that that helps to you know motivate them uh, and great, it breaks the monotony as well that's great ma'am uh thank you so much ma'am uh, rupa ma'am will come up to you we have seen that during the pandemic it has become difficult for the uh, for the principals to get a fair result because exams have been taken on google meet or zoom whatever it is that then had try to you know uh cheat or whatever it is that how this system can be improved please in short if you can uh, give from your experience so uh, we all know that you know uh, pandemic the result the data was not accurate at all they they did write the online exam we tried our level best to monitor them as much as possible but still uh, to be very honest not that everybody took that unfair means but still the data that came to us would have been much more accurate if it was a offline exam which is a campus what we did in our school we actually uh, it's a very novel way because digital world is also teaching you to be savvy this is the second year when we are conducting these exams and we are seeing the data is not accurate so now we told each parent to buy one system and one gadget that is a mobile phone and the invigilator who is going to sit on the other side is only having three students in the tile so we have used all the resources and the staff in the school to conduct these pre mock examination so that we can get accurate data because it was right now um, covid situation went and obviously we cannot call anybody to school because it, uh, we were not permitted by the government this buying of two devices and also i sat down with the parent community to have a parental agreement that you are going to agree and write in the declaration form before the paper is uh, being uploaded that the child i i declare you know the child has not taken unfair means so bringing the parent accountability responsibility arranging two devices and keeping the tiles less which means involving a lot of my staff into invigilation if you are having a less window 
then at least you can have a mirror image of what is what they are doing and finally there is no full proof method mr chandu the value system of our uh, community students everybody has gone down and it pains people like us and everybody of us to see that how we have traded off which we shouldn't so we try and do moral counseling but we involve the parents much more than the students making them more accountable than the students i mean absolutely we, right man absolutely right because the mocks even even yeah day. yeah even i even i agree because here the parents should be responsible they no, should so be the fair enough the responsibility is we make them sign a declaration form so when you are putting your signature then you are careful you can't write something wrong to submit it to the school right so i sat in all the parents meeting grade 10 grade 11 grade 12 made them understand that if the examination board examinations again cancelled these data will go into the boards so you have to be with me in the school in this journey you are a part of that journey so you have to sign the declaration as much as my teacher will do and i will do so it helped to some extent yes ma'am of, of course of course but at the very same time uh, whatever we are getting it written get it signed the parents have to be aware that if you are helping the kids in this way that they are you know uh, taking uh, these advantages of using google or whatever it is it will not help them in future you are not helping them instead you are ruining them so it is better whatever marks they are getting if, i mean by unfair means if there is no use of getting 80 by fair means if you are getting 40 only that will be much better your child is getting the knowledge and this awareness has to be put into the parents for sure thank you so much ma'am thank you so much we'll next come up to mayank mayank uh, you told us uh, that you have parenting uh, you sessions also you talk to the parents also how is your eg schooling what is this is a website or it is an app how the parents you know get facility i mean there are two ways manually they are going to the schools and they are coming to through your website or app what is the difference and how they are uh, getting this advantage the parents as well as the schools also so before getting to the answer so i was so uh, amazed to see here a lot of challenges that pr principals are facing so for that only i was so you are the leaders who are creating super leaders like us so like you are the super leaders actually so we are so grateful because the doctor engineer ya jo bhi hum startup se kuch bhi kar pa rahe hain wo aap sab logo ki wajah se hi kar pa rahe hain एंड आप सब लोग जो अपनी लाइफ में चैलेंजेस फेस करते हो उस वजह से आप अच्छे लोग बना लाइक यू आर क्रिएटिंग जॉब्स आई वुड से इन फ्यूचर सो उसके लिए हमने एक छोटी सी सीरीज स्टार्ट करी थी वॉक विद द बेस्ट स्कूल उसके अंदर हम प्रिंसिपल वी इन्वाइट प्रिंसिपल ऑफ डिफरेंट स्कूल एंड वी टेक फिफ्टीन मिनट्स ट्वेंटी मिनट्स डिस्कशन विद दैम अबाउट हाउ दे आर रनिंग देयर स्कूल सो दैट देर इज अ ट्रांसपेरेंसी इन द सिस्टम वेयर दे कैन टेल दे अबाउट देयर यू एस पीज ऑफ द स्कूल and we can take telecast all those usps to all the admission seeking parents that are landing on our platform so r is a website at which around 3.5 lakh to 4.5 lakh parents visit us every month uh, from delhi noid uh, ncr bangalore pune and mumbai in these places we are uh, working so any pay, all these admission seeking parents land they apply to multiple school by filling a single application form online and this portal is helping parents at three steps one is uh like giving them a transparent information about the school giving them the information about the school leader usp facilities each and everything then second is they can apply to that school online only they don't have to visit the school and uh, all those stuff and third is they can pay the admission fees and also at our platform they can directly get enrolled into the school so we are making the complete admission process virtual for the parents so that they don't need to move out and they can directly get onboarded into a school with the help of easy schooling platform so right now we have done around 1 lakh admissions in past 2 years so th this is the number of admissions that we have done through our platform uh, so th uh, this is how we are helping uh, parents in finding the right school for their child not ki sharma ji ke ladke ne jis school mein liya usme hum lenge and as well as bringing all your principal's thoughts uh, to the parents so that they can decide Whom in which school I have to study because leader plays a very important role in running a school. So only you are having those schools who are seeking for admission, or even you have many schools who don't need admission. Then too, they have added up in your portal or website. 
So we have all the schools like DPS chain, we have DPS Noida sector 30, 132, uh, all these uh, schools we have. We have a lot of like Raghav Global School is also uh, with us. So we have multiple uh, schools with us. Uh, those who are not in need of admissions as well. Why they are with us is because they want to provide convenience to the admission seeking parents. Uh, so they want to help the parents who are looking to apply to their school. So that's the first advantage that they get. And second, ye hota hai ki, ab Zomato Swiggy type, jaise aapne starting mein bola, Zomato Swiggy ho gaya hai. So similarly, now parents are seeking for such kind of options rather than, so unko kaafi easy picture mil jata hai, compare karna school ko, dekhna facilities, dekhna, ho sab dekhna. So convenience ki wajay se parents, uh, schools aate hai, na ki unko admissions chahi hai. And dousra unka sara offline process digitalize ho jata hai, hamari taraf se. To ek bada important I will just end up by saying that uh, there was a principal from Greater Noida West. So, he told me that we came to this portal because we are afraid that if we come to this portal, we will lose our credibility and brand value. But here, what happens is that we don't promote any school unbiasedly. There is no marketing platform. This is just a bridge that you are bridging for admission seeking parents and schools. So, if we act like a marketing platform, then our credibility will be lost in parents' eyes. So, we act as a bridge. An unbiased platform for all the parents. कि आपको जिस school में लेना है आप हमारे portal पे देख के choose करें ना कि हम किसी school को जबरदस्ती push करेंगे आपके लिए कि आपको इसमें admission कराना चाहिए। नहीं, it is like that only that now people are doing their shopping on Amazon or Flipkart. They are not going to the market. They are going after sales service. Like OYO is being added to the hotels. So being OYO added, it is you know improving the reputation of the hotel. So likewise, if a website like Easy Schooling is getting added to a school, it is also bringing up the reputation. If this school is added up with Easy Schooling, the same way its reputation is increasing. It's not like that we are seeking for admission. It's like that the parents should get advantage. You know, they may get help instead of moving to so many schools. They can, you know, on a one click, they can uh, apply for as much as schools they want. Fine. Thank you. So, and I feel that it will, after a few years, it will move Pan-India, like everything has open, uh, moved Pan-India. This system will happen even in the small cities also after, I think, three, four years, for sure, for sure. And thank you so much for providing such a good opportunity. And again, I'll say, tell you, I'll welcome you to Kanpur. If you are coming up to Kanpur, my first, my school will be the first one uh, to get, you know, uh, uh, recognized or added up with your portal, because it is a very helpful thing with the big cities right now, they are getting this advantage. For sure. Thank you so much. And and also, uh, principals, I feel that he's like, uh, you know, a student had been a student of our some of our school and we are promoting our child. He is very young. He is very young. I got fascinated just because he's so young. And uh, in the last episode, also all the principals are appreciating that none of the youngsters, they don't want to come into this business, then education line. But he didn't went abroad. He had opportunities to move abroad. He had opportunity to have his parent, his father's, uh, you know, forefathers going business. But he came into this. He said that, no, I want to use her for the education. And we know very well, ma'am, my child is helping me in all the media. I, at the age of 50, started this. Why? Because my, uh, my child helped me. Otherwise, I would have not started. So if the youngsters are adding something valuable to the education, because many misconcepts have, you know, developed between amongst the parents, that school wale to bas paisa lene ke liye hai, they don't give anything. So these type of people who are also communicating with the parents, he has a counseling session of discussion session with the parents every Saturday. I suppose he told me on every Saturday at seven o'clock. He passes on our messages, whatever we are talking about. He passes on our messages to the parent that this is the feeling with the with the principal, what the principals have. And this is not the way what you are thinking about the schools. This is how you can communicate with the schools and make it a better place for your child to develop. Thank you so much. So Actually, uh, for yeah. Mayank, I need to tell you, Mayank, you are doing a wonderful job being a youngster and who understand the pain of education that has gone a shift. This is the, not the education that was in 2019. After 2019, what Mr. Chandok just talked about, uh, cheating and uh, I mean, taking unfair route and parents suddenly have become masters of education. When we are in the business, we know our craft. They suddenly have landed up because uh, obviously the Google Meet, the parents are at home. So they suddenly have realized that we know everything about all subjects, all teachers. That is a misconception. 
I think you as a youngster should carry forward in your parenting session that you need to leave the craft to the craftsman and you need to go back to your own place and look after the child when the child comes home, giving the right moral values, not the wrong perception that easy money, easy way of life and easy way to climb up the ladder. As you rightly said, absolutely. we had parents absolutely like right. you. You absolutely are right, so right hats off to you. Because we also had a parent who is taking the child to the malls and everywhere, but is fighting because uh, he's saying Karnataka government has given um, eighty percent. You cannot take what is this thirty percent? Where are, where is it going? We kept it on hold, and then we realized that it is just trying to uh, deliberately poke a needle. You know, but the way I resolve the issue is fantastic because, like Ma'am said. Call the parent to your room, win the trust of the parent, and win him over by saying, "If this is your house, to run the operation cost of the house, you need money or no? You don't need money. How can you? How can you just say that I'm only going to give you tuition money? That's it." Absolutely. So much later, of course, he understood and he realized that. But continue doing your good job. I mean, I can only see that things will be better in the future. Parents, what parents think that. अगर कोई फोर इयर्स का बच्चा है वो एबीसीडी पढ़ रहा है ना तो उनके लिए तो इजी है पेरेंट के लिए बट जब मैं चार साल का था तो मेरे लिए एबीसीडी पढ़ना भी बड़ा मुश्किल था सो so, ये चीज वो नहीं रियलाइज करते एंड द वे टीचर टीचेस अ फोर ईयर किड टू लर्न एबीसीडी इज अ डिफरेंट थिंग रैदर देन अ पेरेंट टीचिंग देम सो दिस इज द डिफरेंस दैट दे नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड व्हाई आई केम इनटू दिस सेगमेंट वाज my most of my friends were moving abroad for mba for studies for uh, jobs so i was so uh, so not happy to see all this happening in india education taking a, to- a toss and parents are becoming this and all those things happening so i decided i will stay back in india i will work something uh, for uh, india and especially in education because this is the future if we don't shape our kids in a right direction then i think uh, a lot of 15 17 years baad kafi dikkat hone wali hai So it's yeah. why I say I uh, did this. That's great. A brain drain. You yes. have stopped the brain drain. Brain yes. drain. It is much better. True. The parents are not able to handle two kids at home. The teacher <laughs> handles thirty to forty. I talked to him, and many mothers, even my wife, says, "Thank God that God has made school. If six hours a child goes away, and during the pandemic, these two years, the parents have understood, especially the mothers. It's horrible to keep the children home at. Uh, you know, they are requesting." so many of them they are requesting the schools to please reopen we you follow all the protocols and please open up the schools we want to send our kids to the school because now they have understood that it's not easy to handle you know a lot of 30 or 40 when they are not able to handle two that's great all the best to you we'll come up to next round and one one minute answer lead ma'am i'll come up to monica ma'am monica ma'am uh, when it comes to especially during pandemic when it comes to handling the management and there are grievances the teachers are being stopped that half of the teachers have been removed or the you know non teaching staff being removed percentage of salary has been reduced out of 100% 50% 60% 70% 70%. what are i mean what are these challenges you have faced or what challenges the schools have faced and what is your suggestion in one minute ma'am ma'am you are muted ma'am you are muted Monica. I think so. We have already uh, many of you have already shared. We all have been going through. I think so with the similar kind of problems. Uh, you know that uh, uh, we our children are not attending school. Uh, classes are only half day. Uh, so how can we give the full fees? All those things. Uh, you know we all have gone through. So I think so. Um, uh, uh, for last two years we had these kind of issues. uh this year is uh, much better i think so slowly parents have started realizing also uh, that it is not a cake walk what you, they thought that you know they can sit with their child at home and uh, they can teach uh, they have seen it they have seen it and then things have been like you know uh, we we all have evolved we all have evolved in you know different at different stages and i think so parents have slowly realized it and now many of them are with the school and uh, working along with us and um, i think so that positivity uh, definitely will slowly spread and uh, um, i think so those who are having this kind of 
negative approach towards the school teachers the management in general i think so slowly with time things are changing and i can see uh, you know that it is moving towards the right direction we the only thing what i feel is we all have to be together in this and we need to you know deal with all these kind of situations in a positive way because then only we will be able to resolve the absolutely situation absolutely right ma'am absolutely right ma'am richa ma'am will you add up into this that how what management because this is show is going to the be seen by the management's principals as well as the students or all whole community yeah really uh, i would say difficult times uh, for the management for the teachers and of course for the parents as well Hmm. because i could make out very easily you know which were the genuine cases where the parents were really feeling uh, you know the crunch of money uh, because of uh, being there a lot of layoffs being done and some some you know families where there is a single earning member as well and uh, business of course was uh, badly affected uh, uh, this year yes of course as uh, monica ma'am said is better uh we had uh, overcome with the situation of uh, you know dealing with teachers grievances uh, in the sense that uh, involving teachers in uh, you know uh, getting uh, parents uh, in uh, the counseling sessions that why uh, fee is important the importance of a teacher the family the operations in school uh of course uh, there were certain um, you know uh, shortfalls but I, i think the management also uh, stood by the teachers that of course we will pay uh, and the pay would come in areas right so there was a kind of motivation as well uh, the teachers were also motivated uh, we were also standing with the parents right um, wherever we could give them discounts wherever we could give them certain emi option as well that uh, yes we understand there is a problem uh, this is a calamity and we all are together as one unit so there were no such issues as such where we were uh, you know two different parties the parents against the school or the teachers against the management or management against the school or uh, the teachers uh, uh, it there were difficult times but i think what worked was uh, communication i think dialogue and uh, of course um, you know, many a times i had to conduct class ptms where i had to talk to parents there were times i had to talk to teachers as well um, and i'm so thankful that at times management stood by uh, with teachers as well who were really facing certain medical issues at that time and um, you know with we've gone beyond our limits also to help them and uh, i'm also thankful to certain parents uh, i would say that who were really uh you know good at uh, paying complete fee I, i would not say that there were certain parents who were very honest uh, you know fee payers as well and uh, we had no issues as such with them and they really um, motivated and supported the school at times so uh, you know this helped me uh, you know making teachers understand that these are tough times and we have to overcome this situation so let's let's work together so that that grievance thing you know uh, suddenly after some you know passage of time we were able to resolve the matter ma'am i like to add because we are talking in general about all the schools uh, you know the reputation of the school largely depends upon the stability of the teachers there are certain schools where the teachers you know leave after retiring so there the reputation of the school builds that is the most important thing and the management i think you all will agree the management should see into that if there was some tough time the teacher salary should have had not been deducted if in certain in case a salary has been deducted that area should be given afterwards this your promise should be given because if the uh, you know the management says that the collection is less as soon as we get the further collection we'll pay you the areas but there were many many schools who had not uh, you know reduced the salary or they even if the number of the students have gone down but they said no we are with you and uh, if in good times you were there with us in bad times we are with you and we'll overcome all this mr and- chandok mr chandok we uh, i uh, i must pitch in here by saying so that you know we are also one of the schools where the management has uh, had not given us no cuts at all that's and great. there was no layoff no layoff that's great that's great no so great that's great that's great thank you so much ma'am richa ma'am we'll come up to uh, rupa ma'am 
man another challenge of a principal is to satisfy the society you you know you uh, we know that we cannot satisfy 100% but there are people taking out flows of the school that there should be all round development of the child so what thing you keep in your mind when you are you know looking after the school so during pandemic time of course it is a very difficult proposition to have all round development because it was only the google meet however what we notice as i told you that we are a a uh, school with round square uh, you know the 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 round square fraternity of school so we organized a lot of online events and this online event is very very well taken by the students where you are having debates you are having poetry competition you are having art so what we could replicate we could what cannot be replicated is a human touch or the human interface as we would have done it otherwise so all round development as um, you know parents aspire it's not possible during the pandemic times when we were all locked inside the house we tried our best many schools came forward for the collaborative approach and uh, through many 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 ways we did participate with uh, vasant valley school in uh, delhi and so many ways we did all through online and i don't think um, that time the parents were really looking at a uh, you know the whole development because mental health of most of the children and parents were uh, very difficult they were going through tough time so we rather focused on how do we bring in mental health as a priority in our lives rather than the holistic development holistic development is right. now when they are coming back to campus we are doing sports we are going for the you know art music competition but in online space it was difficult parents cooperated with us we also with our best intention tried to bring collaboration through various other means so the out- outcome of the show is that collaboration is very important yeah it may be bit amongst the teachers and students also both the collaboration should be there yeah. thank you so much ma'am we'll come up to my mr mayank again Mayank, will you like to add up anything about your uh, easy schooling website? What other great things which you are doing for the schools and for the parents? And uh, is there something different you are doing? Okay. So uh, I will just end up very quickly because already time has passed. So two things: collaboration, easy schooling is also important. Hai. So you all come to our platform. Pe aayin, uh, 15 minutes to our platform. Pe aake, if you can speak about your school at our platform, we will be able to. take that message to all the uh, parents who are at our platform admission seeking parents so they will be aware about your school about the initiative as well as wo video aapke jo existing parents hain unko bhi help karegi aapka vision aur jo problems wo face kar rahe hain wo solve karne mein uh, pehli cheez dusri cheez uh, kafi acha laga aap sab se aaj baat karke and kafi kuch we learnt a lot and a lot of challenges to main ye sara session ka summary nikal ke i mera aaj subah ek session hua tha 12 baje where around 350 parents were there who are admission seeking parents uh, so unke samne ab mera kal bhi ek session hai jisme around 700 registrations hain to usme i will definitely trans, uh, like translate the summary of this session to all those parents so thanks of course you have to of course you have to take our grievances and our suggestions of what we need from them and uh, it will be helpful for uh, us also and for them also and all the best to you because uh, we are again i regard you as one of my uh, you know 5 uh, year or 10 years earlier batch student and you are doing a wonderful job for the education fraternity we wish you all the best and of course i will support and many are supporting you and you are doing a wonderful job and this is very great you have moved to other cities now because you have picked up many many schools in delhi and ncr and you are moving to bangalore mumbai and uh, pune so we will be giving you best wishes that you move to all the other cities also in pan india also and at the end we have a very sm- uh, culture that two lines have to be sung or is have to be spoken by every you know participant which we don't disclose before the show rupa ma'am if you can sing two lines in bengali any two lines <laughs> which are your favorite one because this is a get together of the principals at the end yeah. at the weekend and we enjoy although uh, i'm sorry to tell that uh, deepthi ma'am sanas met with a severe accident she had to run away oh my god and, oh yeah my yeah god. she just messaged me that her son has met with an accident she has to oh. move and uh, 
she's a wonderful lady she's from kanpur only she i had yeah. a long talk with her So, so she is in Bangalore. Can I? She is in Bangalore. Yeah, she is in Bangalore. Can, we, can I help her in any way? Sure, sure. I'll send you the number. I'll pass yeah. on the numbers to all we of you. Just check with her. Yeah. yeah, sure, sure, sure. She had to run away. Her uh, uh, son met with an accident. She said, "I'm rushing to hospital." Oh That's, my God! So we let's pray that nothing much has happened. Oh my God! And uh, no issues, ma'am. Uh, God will take care. He is over there. Rupa, ma'am, please. Uh, you are a I know that you are a very good singer, maybe, and we we'll like to hear two lines from you. We'll this start is from tough. You. This is tough. I am extremely bad. No, ma'am. No one no. is a good singer. Actually, I mean, the thing is that you know we moved away from those core passions because of. <laughs> ma'am, ma'am, there <laughs> is there is a child. It is said now yes. there is a child inside I mean, everyone. Yes, yes. And absolutely. and ma'am, when I started my career around twenty five, twenty six year ago, my principal said, first principal said. That we do not grow above eighteen. हम अठारह साल से ऊपर कभी भी grow नहीं होते. आज तक भी नहीं हुए. He he was retired at he retired at sixty. He said I'm still eighteen. So ma'am, we have a child in our uh, you know in our heart always, and child has to be brought out sometimes. You know some things are there. We have we had that passion. We wanted to do that, but we have never done. And this is the weekend. <laughs> Get together of the really? principles. You fox, Mr. Chandok, right now. I can't even think anything else. I was about to anything in that, anything oh in uh, uh, anything in Bangla. You can sing any religious, any religious. You know about um, uh, of Durga Mata or anything, anything you want to sing. Two lines only. We won't listen much. Only two <laughs> lines. <laughs> <laughs> Richa, ma'am is thinking what to what uh, what would I what sing? Would I know. <laughs> Monica, okay. ma'am has decided. Name. Yes, decided. That's great, ma'am. I will decide a little later. You know, Mr. Chandu, give me a little time because you just caught me unaware, and then you also gave. Ma'am, if what I told you, you would have refused to come into the session. <laughs> 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 this is a surprise. This is a surprise. Monica, ma'am, will you will you start up? Okay, uh, I think so. This is this number. Uh, many of us, uh, you all can join with me. Sure. and uh, so i think so little bit situation based also it can be uh, jab koi baat bigad jaye jab koi mushkil pad jaye tum dena saath mera o oh, hum nawa <laughs> great ma'am great great right <laughs> thank you rupa ma'am you cannot escape ma'am <laughs> come after richa ma'am to you okay chalo ji yeah, chalo you okay. you have decided ma'am jodi tor dak shune keu na she tobe ekla cholo re jodi tor dak shune keu na she tobe ekla cholo re ekla cholo ekla cholo ekla cholo ekla cholo re jodi tor डुने क्यों चलो रे विच वी आर एक्चुअली वंडरफुल वॉइस मैम एंड यू आर यू नो थिंकिंग व्हाट टू सिंग एंड व्हाट नॉट टू सिंग दैट्स ग्रेट मैम अच्छा मैम योर टर्न आई जस्ट सिंग फॉर लाइंस ऑफ वन ऑफ द पेट्रियोटिक सॉन्ग्स वी यूज टू सिंग इन ड्यूरिंग स्कूल टाइम क्वाइट ओल्ड डेज हम लाए हैं तूफान से कश्ती निकाल के इस देश को रखना मेरे बच्चों संभाल के तुम ही भविष्य हो मेरे भारत विशाल के इस देश को रखना मेरे बच्चों संभाल के थैंक यू That's great, ma'am. My uncle have never sung. I can dance. I cannot sing. So. <laughs> we don't want a dance over here. If one or two line, even you can. I was escaping through that night. No, no, and no. And you should, you should come to school. You know, our principals have a diversity. We, we can, we can sing. We can dance. We can paint. We can have theater. We See, can do so many things together. <laughs> no, no, no. I will, I will, I will say that all the principals will associate with you, but you have to sing two lines. No, no, no. चंदोक सर आप नहीं करते आप दूसरों से सिंग आई हैव टू सिंग एवरी डे आई हैव टू सिंग एवरी डे बट बट यू हैव टू गेट दे हैव अटेंडेड द सेशन नाउ यू हैव टू गेट एसोसिएटेड 
if they if you want these to get associated with you <laughs> okay any poem any any poem you remember any poem you remember any song you remember you are the youngster one you have seen more movies than us nahi nahi sir i am very bad at it nahi ho payega but acha it is okay now whenever you will you will contact with the principals you will have to sing in their office now or out through the phone call you have to sing to them different songs one one song to everyone sure done then the prepare the them Abha ma'am is Abha ma'am is connected over again. I think she there was little problem with connectivity or anything. Abha ma'am, we are at the end of the session. Yes, And, sir. Uh, ma'am, uh, everybody had to sing two lines. At the end of the session, from a beautiful lady, a two beautiful lines. If anything, patriotic, religious, I mean anything, anything you want to sing, only two okay. lines. Okay, so I'll go with my favorite patriotic song. <clears throat> जब जीरो दिया मेरे भारत ने भारत ने मेरे भारत ने दुनिया को तब गिनती आई तारों की भाषा भारत ने दुनिया को पहले सिखलाई देता ना दर्शन लो भारत तो यू चांद पे जाना मुश्किल था धरती और चांद की दूरी का अंदाजा लगाना मुश्किल था सभ्यता जहाँ पहले आई पहले जन्मी है जहाँ पे कला अपना भारत वो भारत है जिसके पीछे संसार चला संसार चला और आगे बढ़ा आगे बढ़ा बढ़ता ही गया भगवान करे ये और बढ़े बढ़ता ही रहे और फूले फले बढ़ता ही रहे और फूले फले थैंक यू वाओ वाओ दैट्स ग्रेट मैम यू आर सुपर मैम यू नॉट सुपर टैलेंटेड एंड ऑलराउंडर we wish you all the best mayank uh, we wish you all the best and uh, probably we will like to connect with you always and thank you so much everyone rupa ma'am abha ma'am monica ma'am richa ma'am and mayank for connecting and uh, spending your so valuable time over on this show and hope to see you again sure. thank, thank, you so thank, you. thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much everyone thank you thank you everyone thank you